Welcome back to the Advanced Interaction Story Tutorial Series. In today's video, we're delving into button mash events. Let's jump right in. To get started, create a new cinematic and assign the level sequence. Choose the button mash event in the previous cinematic and set the ID for the QuickTime event. For these types of events, there can only be one success cinematic, but it's essential to provide another cinematic for fail events. Additionally, we'll ensure that the previous cinematic replays in case of failure. Now, let's integrate the button mash event track into the level sequencer. Customize the widget and adjust settings, such as slow motion, the required number of key presses, and the widget's location on the UI. Save your progress and conduct a test. The success cinematic should play if the player presses the key the specified number of times. If the player fails to do so, the fail cinematic should trigger. Should you wish to craft a custom widget for this event type, duplicate the existing ones from the plugin folder into your project. Add UI elements from the design panel and tailor the widget's behavior to suit your desired events. For a more in-depth comprehension of these events, consult the documentation. Thanks for tuning in.